I had the idea for this tutorial and tried it out in 1.19, but then when I saw the cherry wood, I just had to use that instead. So I did design this in the very early 1.20 snapshot, but I think it looks amazing. So whether you have those snapshots yet or not, if you want to save this design for the future, it's worth the wait because this cherry wood looks amazing on this design. Here's a list of all the materials you'll be needing. This is just for the main structure and a few interior pieces, but you'll have to add to the list whatever you'd want to decorate the inside with. You'll notice there is a gradient of light to dark with the pink blocks. You're welcome to replace those with different sets of blocks as long as it makes a nice gradient from light to dark. This entire cottage will fit in a 17 by 17 space and we're going to be building it one layer at a time. Hopefully my blueprints on the left are easy enough to understand. Double check your layer before moving on to the next one. It could save you from having to redo half of your build. I'll leave you to building these. There's not much really I need to say. Just follow along and take your time.
All right, that's it for the main structure of the house. Now we've got some extra details and decorations to add. Let's start by putting the trap doors in all of the blank spots we had for windows. Some of them I'm placing from the inside so it goes flush with the wall, and some I'm placing from the outside. It really doesn't make a difference which one you decide to do. It depends on what kind of look you want for your house. After you've filled in all the windows, be sure to put the door in. Now your house should look something like this, and you have two options. Leave it as it is, or take that glass you collected, and we're going to add it on top of the darkest pink blocks all over the house. So anywhere you see a pink concrete block, just place a piece of glass on top. And this is just for extra detail. It's not absolutely necessary, but I thought it looked nice. Going inside, let's finish up the basic interior here by putting a hay bale directly in the center and a fireplace on top. The hay bale will allow the smoke to rise all the way up through that one hole in the ceiling, so you'll get a little bit of smoke coming out of your house. And then taking your leftover green blocks, you should have some moss and green concrete. I'm going to make a checkered pattern on the floor. You could do it as something completely different, but I like the idea of keeping it green to go along with the stem of the flower. Once you have the floor done, place some trap doors all around the campfire. And then we're going to put a ladder along the back wall in order to get to the second story. Up here you'll see the center where we put those flowering blocks, and I'm just going to surround that with fences to close it off, and you'll see the smoke should be coming through. That was the basic interior of the house, but now I just want to show you a few extra things I added for decoration. I was just playing around with some of the new stuff. I absolutely love these little pink flowers, so I just scattered them across. Of course, this is a flat world, so there's not much else around here, but I was just playing around with a few different things, even playing around with the flowery path leading up to the doorway. I love the hanging sign right here with the name of the cottage. Of course, it doesn't have to say this exactly. Going inside, I just have a very pink theme everywhere. Pink furniture everywhere, a little wardrobe, a little lamp with a frog light, some drip leaf tables, although I did have to adjust the floor in order for this to work. So if that really annoys you, you could just make the whole floor moss blocks instead of the checkered pattern. So this just gives you some ideas. This was just me tinkering with a little bit of the interiors. Really, really simple. I didn't do anything on the second floor. It's up to you whatever you want to do up here. I would probably use the second floor more for storage if anything because it's kind of hard to work around these odd shapes of the exterior of the building. But that is the adorable rosebud cottage for you. Pink is normally not my favorite color but I do like how all these pinks work out for this specific design. Of course you could always change it up and make it a red rose or a yellow rose or a purple rose. You could try different combinations, but I do think that cherry wood looks really, really nice here. And it also helps that you've got a door and trap door variant to match with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this design and I'm looking forward to this update. It's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of great new blocks are being added and I'm looking forward to experimenting more with them in the future. Have fun building everybody. I will see you later. Bye.